So is dropshipping still worth getting into? To be completely transparent with you guys, if you're just planning on getting into e-commerce just to make money specifically with dropshipping, then it's not. Don't even waste your time. In this video, I wanna be completely transparent with you guys because obviously being in the e-commerce space, I wanna give you guys uh, different pointers and things that you can kind of do to get the best possible result because obviously we know that in the e-commerce space, like there's a lot of opportunities and there's a lot of e-commerce businesses that are doing super well. Obviously we have Amazon, which is now a trillion dollar company. That's an, obviously an e-commerce business. So we know the possibilities of e-commerce and you know, I just wanna make sure that you guys understand how you should be coming into the e-commerce space. For those of you guys that are just getting started and for those of you guys that are already in the e-commerce space, what you should be kind of planning to do with obviously what you're working on right now. So just to kind of share with you guys a quick story. When I first got started with drop shipping a while ago, one of the first winning products I had found did really well. Like it absolutely crushed it. We literally went from doing like 1K a day to like the end of the week doing like 2K a day and then the next week like 5K a day and then the week after that, we got up to 10K a day. And we had one of our biggest days that was over 20K in one day. For some of you guys that are just getting started, like you may not be able to wrap your head around making like $20,000 in one day, but that is the possibilities of like finding a winning product. Now, obviously that was great. And I think actually our second, my second to third month in between me and my business partner, we did over 220 grand. Now, obviously that's like an insane amount of sales and that we generated. And obviously we couldn't even wrap our heads around the fact that we were able to generate that that fast. Now, I'm not saying that for everybody that comes into the space, you're gonna be able to do the same thing, but that's just a quick example I wanted to show you guys. After generating those results, between me and my business partner, we had reached out to a few other people in the e-commerce space, actually guys that were doing a lot bigger numbers than us, right? Guys that were doing like anywhere from like one to $3 million a month in revenue. And I actually have a video that I recorded a while back kind of talking about this story, but I wanted to kind of clarify on the story and also why it changed my perspective in e-commerce itself. So we reached out to these guys that we're doing between again anywhere from like one to two million a month and we asked them like hey like what how do you guys do it and you know they kind of broke it down to us the fact that they started somewhat with like the dropship model but in reality they took a completely different approach to be able to scale and get to that amount and once we were speaking to them we're like okay cool how do you do it so we got some ins and outs and i'm going to share those with you guys after we had spoken to them for a while they were completely transparent with their business and what they were selling and everything and they had no problem doing it i'm like wow that's interesting. These guys can just tell me straight up what they're selling, show me the product, everything, and no problem, no questions asked. And usually a lot of people in the e-commerce space aren't as transparent, obviously, because you know the fact that if you show your product to someone else, they can come in and you know just promote the same product for maybe a cheaper price. Well, at least people think they can just do that and obviously generate the same kind of results. And then the person that was originally selling that product then will end up making less sales. And so there's a scarcity mindset in the dropship space because you know that anybody can come in and kind of knock off your product your sales and your ads and all that stuff. These guys are doing five times the amount of revenue that I was doing and they were a lot more transparent. They were like super open to telling me exactly how they're doing it and literally walk me through the whole model. After speaking to them, the craziest thing happened. I had found out that these guys were actually selling a similar product that I was selling. Actually the exact same product. They were selling the same product for seven times the amount and they were also generating more sales. They were selling more of that product than we were. Honestly, it was like, it was like a shot to the heart because obviously like we thought, you know, I thought I did super well, like generating 220 grand in a month. Obviously our third month in is incredible, but seeing how these guys were selling the exact same product for more and selling more of this exact same product was honestly like, in, I couldn't even believe it. But obviously like, you know, they showed me their sales, things like that. I'm like, wow, that's honestly insane. And so after we figured out the fact that they were able to do that because they had really took a, a little bit different approach and really worked on building more of a brand for their product and their company, it completely changed how I looked at e-commerce. So obviously like my mindset at that time was, okay, well, yeah, let's use obviously this opportunity to make money because we know that we can make money. We've already done it this one, then things are going super well, so let's keep doing it. But now let's also see how we can work on taking a similar approach to these guys so we can really get to the next level. When I shifted my mindset to that, that's how I've been thinking ever since. And so now, you know, my approach is like, for anyone that's coming into this space, you should have a similar approach. Or if you're already drop shipping, this should be what you should focus on, right? The skill sets that it takes to run a $220,000 e-commerce business 
compared to the skill sets that are required to run a $2 million a month business are actually very similar. When we met with these guys, we spoke about their sim very similar things, right? How they were running their Facebook ads. They literally, their store is a Shopify store and how they were doing all these things, how they were doing their social media marketing. One of the things that people getting into this space, or for those of you guys that are in this space, your approach within this opportunity should be to not only try to just drop ship and sell other people's products for the rest of your life, you should learn how to do that effectively because if you can learn how to build a dropshipping business selling other people's products, well, it's gonna be a lot easier to start your own business selling your own products and using the same skill sets to grow that business. And in reality, having your own product, your own e-commerce product is a lot more scalable and it's a lot more long-term and you can honestly make a lot more money doing it. Now, it's not as easy to do it and I'm actually going through the phases where I'm learning about all these different things you have to do. So it's definitely not as easy, but that's actually a good thing because that means that it's a lot harder for everyone else to do, which means that there's less competition. And that's why these guys, for example, had no problem telling me their website, showing me their products, showing me how they were doing everything, their ads, all that great stuff, because they understand the fact that once you build an e-commerce brand and you take the time to do it, it's not as easy and it takes more time and there's a little more risk, but it's not as duplicatable, which means that you have a lot less competition. What I wanna have you guys understand is like, okay, obviously you know you can make money dropshipping. There's no question about that. We have students day in and day out that actually make money dropshipping. But the ultimate goal isn't to just make money from dropshipping. The ultimate goal is to learn how to do it and practice with a dropshipping business and obviously with other people's products, but to then use those same skill sets and everything that you learn to build that business for your own e-commerce product. Obviously, you need to learn the skill sets to do it if you're just getting started or even if you're already doing it. Obviously, you wanna make sure you narrow down and you're able to generate those results consistently because that's one of the most important things. But for those of you guys that are just getting started, that I wanna have make sure you guys understand what the, your perspective should be with coming in to this space. How do I make money with drop shipping? But then from there, you, you should switch your approach. And for those of you guys that are already doing it, I would make sure that you take this time, specifically now, and since quarter four is coming up, you know, whatever your, art, your best selling products are, I would consider having, you know, a plan for after quarter four, right? Because you don't wanna just generate sales the next couple months and like obviously do super well, but then when January comes or next year comes, like you're not doing as well. I would leverage the products that you're already having success with right now, for those of you guys that are already getting results, and think about potentially branding those products and building a brand around them so you can have it be a lot more long term and so you can make a lot more money. It is something that is completely worth it. And for those of you guys that are getting started, one of the things we're gonna be doing is really documenting our journey, you know, starting this brand new e-commerce product. And me and my business partner put together what we call the e-com incubator, where our focus is to have anyone that's either just getting started or if you're already in the e-commerce space and you're already getting results, how to really take those results to the next level and then also strategize to build a brand around that product and really have your own e-commerce brand and really build a long-term business. So if you guys are actually interested in learning more about that, our journey, or if you're interested in getting started, or if you're interested in taking your e-commerce business to the next level, there's gonna be a link down below this video for the e-com incubator. And the way we positioned this mastermind is, Honestly, it's less than a Netflix membership. So if you click down the link below, you're gonna get a free trial to try it out for free. You're already gonna be able to come in there and see some of the things that we're kind of teaching some of our other higher level students and get access to those for completely free. And then after that, it's only $7 a month. So you guys can check that out. There's gonna be a link down below. I personally think you guys will get a ton of value from it. One of the things that people don't understand and like that I see day in and day out is people will come into the e-commerce space, they'll try drop shipping, and because they don't generate results right away, they'll immediately immediately quit, but they never think about the long-term possibilities if they give it an extra few days, if they try some more things, if they give it a month, if they actually learn these skill sets. The skill sets that it takes to actually build a dropshipping business, they are a lot more valuable than actually making money from dropshipping itself, 1000%, because those skill sets you can then duplicate to not only make more money with dropshipping, like for example, if you open up like another store and you start doing the same things, but also to build an e-commerce business, right? If you think about this company, movement. They started literally selling watches. You can get similar watches, like find similar watches on AliExpress. And so if they were able to take that concept and turn it into five years later, turn it into a $100 million company, well, that should shed some light on the fact that these skill sets that you guys are gonna be learning within the e-commerce space are super valuable. So I'd make sure you actually pay attention and actually learn all the ins and outs and actually give it time for it to work. Everybody comes in and thinking that they're just gonna make sales overnight. It's not that easy. 
you know, it's just, it's just not, especially not now. So I hope you guys picked up a thing or two from this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. If you have any questions about anything that I went over, drop them in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you guys on that. And if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.